If you were looking for a very large, very shiny distraction for what has been a very eventful week on the world stage, then look no further. We have a one kilo silver proof Mexican Libertad, probably the most bonkers kilo of silver that I have ever seen. Absolutely stunning. There are very few words to describe quite how beautiful this is. And in today's video, we're gonna have a good close look at it and talk about how wonderful this coin really is. Everybody, Backyard Bullion here. Now, if ever you needed something very large, very shiny, and very pretty to distract you from a very eventful week, then you need look no further because we have here today a one kilo silver proof Libertad, courtesy of James D over on the Silver Forum. So a big thank you. And guys, give him a shout out down in the comment section for allowing me to film with his precious one kilo silver Libertad. Now, this is not something I would ever look to purchase myself. I am not a Libertad collector, but there is a huge market for it. And it's one of the, uh, it's the crown jewel of kind of the proof Libertad collections, the kilo proof. I mean, it's a kilo of silver and it is absolutely stunning. If you've never seen one, you're in for a treat. Uh, and here it is in all of its glory in a very, very lovely display box. I mean, they have absolutely nailed it on every element of this coin, the display and just everything about it. Absolutely love it. So uh, big thank you to James for that. And we're going to have a good close look at it, talk about the kilo size of it and just some of the bits and bobs about libertans and collectibilities of it. So as we go throughout the video, if you're enjoying it, put a thumbs up and let us know your thoughts down in the comment section. Now, a kilo of silver always surprises me with how heavy it truly is. Oh, it's very difficult to get out at this angle. There we go. Um, it is always staggering how dense silver is, and a kilo of silver is no exception. It's just a sight to behold, and if you've never had a kilo bar, in fact, I did a video a couple of weeks ago talking about how everybody should own a kilo bar of silver, but if you've never experienced a flat silver coin in kilo form, then it is well worth exploring and finding yourself a kilo coin, and there is no other coin which is more beautiful, in my opinion, than this kilo proof Libertad. I've seen a few kilo coins from the Perth Mint before, but I tell you what, this this just is at another level. The absolute incredible 3D nature of the design, the perfectly flat background, and then the elevated seals you see here all around the central government seal of that. And then of course on here, we've got winged victory in all her glory in the uh, Mexican landscapes there. Oh, it, it is something to behold. I mean, it is like having a 3D sculpture printed onto a coin. It, it's not gonna probably do justice on this camera. And I don't, obviously, for obviously not my coin, I don't want to open the capsule and potentially risk the proof perfection of this coin. But, oh, it is absolutely stunning. And I've said a number of times that I think that the bigger a coin, often the better it can showcase the design. There are a few exceptions that I've seen where coins don't necessarily transpose well into the bigger forms, but this is most certainly not one of those. This is most certainly one that has really exemplified every little tiny minute detail of uh, the design of the absolute wondrous design. I, I'm a big fan of the Libertad designs. I'm not a collector of Libertads, I should say that. I, I don't know enough about the sort of proof versions, I know obviously that a lot of the proof versions can go for really big money and these kilos, as I said, are a bit of the king of the pile when it comes to the proof Libertad collector's market with absolutely micro mintages in some year. Uh, in some years, these are, you know, they are big premium items. Now, James was explaining to me that he, he paid a premium for this, but in all honesty, when he told me, I'm not going to regurgitate what he told me, that's his own business, but I'll tell you what he told me he paid for it, doesn't really seem like a humongous premium out there considering what it is and you know what I've seen other prices for them go for. Now this is a 2016 year date one you can see up here. And even like the letters, by the way, are like really high relief. It's absolutely incredible. I suspect if you had the, uh, had the cojones to quote a, uh, a sort of Spanish phrase, uh, to take it out of its capsule and really examine it and see the high relief, um, and touch it and feel it, you'd be able to really feel every single tiny piece of detail on that. But 
the point here is that it, it's really fantastic. It's an absolutely lovely piece. Now, 2016, I've been having a quick look around at things like mintage figures. So one of the obvious things about any kind of proof coin and any kind of collectible item like this is going to be around mintage. And a little bit of history about the one kilo uh, proof Libertads. They are one of the youngest in the proof series of the Libertads. The Libertads date back to 1982 in one ounce proof form. But kilos were only introduced in 2002. And in 2002, the mintage was only 1,820. So a really very small mintage compared to the you know, million plus sometimes that were uh, produced in the one ounce range. And then there have been years where there are absolutely tiny mintages. We look at 2000 five with only 500 we look at the most the smallest 2017 and 2019 with only 200 minted now this in 2016 has a mintage i'm reading here of 2000 which is obviously a fairly high mintage <clears throat> excuse me but it's not the highest mintage of the lot there are uh, well, there's, well there's a period 2009 10 11 or 2008 9 10 11 where those mintage figures were fairly uh, high 2000 4000 4000 6000 so it's it's definitely kind of you know average in terms of the mintage side of things uh, does that detract from its beauty of course not uh, it is simply stunning and i think it's a really wonderful piece and i know that uh, that james d on the silver forum uh, he really treasures it. Uh, when he saw it come up for sale, he um, he just had to have it, he said. He said it had been on his uh, list for a very long time and he wanted to, to grab hold of it. He got some advice from a few other people that he knows in the uh, in sort of the forum community to ask about the item and whether or not it was, uh, you know, competitively priced and a good potential option. Uh, so it's really nice to see that not only did he pick up something that he really likes, but also that it has... Uh, a little bit of extra kind of provenance in the terms of him doing uh, a little bit of research and getting some extra feedback from the community. So inside the box as well. So we'll talk about the whole. Let's talk about the whole package. So of course you get an outside cardboard box, um, which shame it's got a little bit of kind of stickiness on here. I mean I, I've talked about sort of external packaging on boxes before and how it's quite important, but ultimately when things are owned for a few years, uh, you know things will take a dent and a ding. And to be honest, this outside cardboard box is probably doing its job by taking a few of these little dings and dents. Uh, you can see some of the uh, extra information on the back there. Inside, though, is where the party has started because we've got this absolutely wonderful wooden box. And I absolutely love the sort of engraving on the top here. You've got the uh, Statue of the Libertad as the Eye of Libertad and 1 kg de plata pura. And I'm sorry, very sorry for my pronunciations there. Uh, but it's a really nice, well-made box, really sturdy, feels nice and heavy and durable. And of course, with the nice lever uh, display item here inside, which obviously you can then lift up. It's, it's quite difficult to uh, kind of lift up when the, the whole kilo's in there, but there is a little hole underneath that you can stick your finger through and then you can get your coin out. So really nice display piece in its entirety and I think that's a really nice thing to always have especially when you're uh, buying something like this. You've got this little booklet here as well which is like it's almost like a passport. It feels like one of those old school uh, passports. It's got that kind of leathery feel to it. It's really quite interesting. Uh, you can see some of the information in here. I'm not going to read all of this. Uh, there is what's really nice is a load of information in here as well about um, the coin, about the Mexican mint, which by the way is one of the oldest mints in the world and uh, it started all the way back in the 1500s creating gold and silver coinage for the colonies in uh, Central America for the Spanish. So it's <clears throat> definitely a mint with a lot of history and you can see in here uh, it's got the Spanish and the English translations of all of the different bits and bobs about it. So it is a nice little addition to the whole package for you to be able to get and see um, you know, more about your coin if you don't know a great deal about it. So <clears throat> I think it's a, a really great package altogether. So let's have one last look at this and talk about just generally proof kilo coins. Are they a good idea? So it's always going to be an interesting one. I love the way this tiny little light patch, by the way, I don't know quite how it's being created, but it's uh, it's floating around on every single thing I put up next to the camera. Um, <clears throat> so kilo proof and proof coins generally, of course, are going to be expensive. They're going to hold uh, a big premium on their spot price. 
or the equivalent of spot price for that particular metal. Now, whether or not something holds premium is usually a good indicator of whether or not it's something that you could potentially invest in. And it is very evident that throughout the last, what, sort of 18 years of these one kilo proof Libertads, and judging on the popularity of all of the other different uh, sizes within the proof Libertad range, even down to the fractional tenth of ounce proof Libertads, they are exceptionally popular. They are one of the most popular collectors proof coins out there and I know that there are people who pay considerable premiums on getting hold of different years and with the proof kilos here having something that uh, you know is limited down to these 2000 mintage figures is very very small. It does have a bit of a counter effect in that it is always difficult to know what to price something at if you can't find very many other reference sales out there. Uh, you know, one of the advantages of a coin that's got a larger mintage is that there will be more sales of it through second-hand markets and dealers and auctions and things like that. But with very limited mintage coins, it can sometimes be a little bit difficult to know what is the market value, what is the appropriate price, and the appropriate method by which to sell it. Uh, and I, get, I think that was a part of sort of uh, James's thinking when he was. Uh, looking at purchasing this, was that the right deal? Is that the right price for that coin? And I think with a, um, you know, without sort of divulging the personal finances of somebody that's not myself, I think he paid a very good price for this. And, you know, that's got to be commended for his ability to spot a deal and see it and see it through to the other end as well. So all things told, I absolutely love this coin. I think it is wonderful. Is it something that I would buy for myself? I have to say it's not because I'm not in the know enough about this. I love the coins, but I'm not an avid collector of them. Part of the issue is that there's just so much choice out there in the world to look to collect from. Now, that doesn't mean that James is wrong in his uh, decision to purchase it and collect these, but for me, it's just not something I would look to purchase. So I do want to put a personal thanks in here at the end of the video to James for the opportunity to get my hands on it, because as I said, I wouldn't buy it normally myself and I wouldn't be able to showcase it here for you people out there. So a big thank you to him. He needs a shout out down in the comment section. So make sure you go and say thank you to him. And if you've enjoyed this coin and this video, then make sure that you hit that thumbs up button and share it around on your social media if you can. Otherwise, that's it from me and the big Silverproof Kilo Libertad. I hope it's brightened up your Friday, brightened up your week. It's been certainly an eventful week and we'll just have to see how the rest of the week and the weekend unfolds. And I wish everybody safe health. I wish everybody safe safeness in this crazy world that we're in at the moment and uh, have a good one. We'll see you on the next video. As always, please make sure that you like, share, comment and subscribe for more.